Universal Audio has a huge sale at the moment at Plugin Boutique, 39 bucks for like 10 plugins. And this time around, I wanted to test the API Vision channel strip, of course, an emulation of the API uh, piece of analog gear. This is a channel strip, right, that includes uh, different uh, effects built in here. So uh, here you have some mic pre um, pre amplification and line uh, amplifi preamp, pre like adds saturation of the preamp, right? With these two knobs here, and I'm gonna put it here just so that you can hear the the LEDs. Some sat mic saturation, some line saturation here, right? Also has a high pass like that. Besides that, it uh, has a high pass and low pass filter here, right? Removing some heights, highs, sorry, and some lows. You need to turn on the section. Uh, it is worth mentioning. Also, you have a gate expander here, right? The threshold and you start to, you can use it also as an expander if you switch this up or as a threshold like that, right? You can remove some, uh, like some bleed in the snare, in the kick drum, stuff like that with the gate. Yeah, release. And this is the release, right? In milliseconds, you turn it off like that. Then we have a compressor that you turn on here. And you have here the attack in this switch. So fast attack, slow attack in the center and medium attack um, down. And you have here the threshold, right? The ratio, like that, the release, okay? And then you have here the old or new, like, um, circuitry. Like, old is uh, less, um, less aggressive, and new, it's a bit more aggressive uh, to the audio, right? You also have the hard and soft knee, like that. And you see here the gain reduction as well. And you have an EQ here with four bands, high frequency band, high mid frequency, low mid frequencies, and low frequencies, right? You can also change this to this type of API EQ, right? Where you have a fixed uh, frequencies here that you can boost or cut, right? So you can switch to this other type and you can use it, for instance, in the high frequencies as a high shelf or as a bell curve. The same with the lows, a low, low shelf or a low bell like that, right? Uh, you can click this uh, pre dynamics and this will set the EQ before the dynamics, which is what I, what I like to do. You have here an output, right, with this fader, and uh, you can use it sidechain or turn off the plugin, right? So I'm gonna go back to default here. And yeah, I'm gonna put everything to default here to zero. I'm gonna turn, turn off this. And yeah. Let's uh, use it in this uh, on these drums. Right. Let's add some. We have a pad as well. This helps us uh, reduce a bit the incoming decibels to the pre. some saturation right. high pass filter right let's add some uh, compression here Already is compressing. Let's put slow attack time. 
fast release time. Also, let's choose here the some EQ moves. With the blue, you selected the frequency. So, for instance, 10k. some lows here Alright, that's the API on drums. Let's also use this channel strip on bass here. Some saturation. Let's use some heavy compression or mid mid compression with some medium attack time part knee. Don't forget to turn it turn it on here. I'm not getting any compression here, okay. so do I need more like more signal? Maybe. I'm super saturating the the input here. You can select whether it be mic or line, right? Let's add some highs here. Let's remove some low mids. Some some cool cool uh, coloration with the mic and line preamp, and let's use it also in in this vocal track. This is a time. No more excuses. We can change this.
This is our time to break this down. No more excuses. We can change this. This Removing is some lows here. our time. No more excuses. Let's compress this vocal track here. Uh, fast attack time. Soft knee. Let's check it out. This is our time. Yeah. No more excuses. We can change this. Before. This is our time to break this down. No more excuses. We can Overloading a bit. This is our time. No more excuses. We can change this. This is our time to break this down. No more excuses. We can change this. This is our time. No more excuses. Before. We can change this. Right? That's the API Vision Channel Strip. Let's move on with the other plugin in this list, the Lexicon 224 a Digital Reverb. This is, of course, a legendary and iconic uh, reverb, and this is uh, an emulation of that one, right? Uh, very like well well known, famous reverb in many professional and high end studios, and this is a great reverb that includes different type of. Um, of digital reverbs, right? You have some uh, small holes, for instance. You you select here the different algorithms and type of reverbs. So small hole, a uh, vocal plate, long hole, chamber. Um, uh, what's this? Uh, another plate, small hole A room, and um, another plate reverb, right? Pretty cool. You have here. Like for instance, uh, the bass on the reverb, some mids, and the crossover here, and also the treble, right? The treble, the highs, also depth, increase and more like intensity in the reverb, and pre-delay, right? The and then you have here these uh, controls, like for, to add, for instance, diffusion. With this, um, you increase, or with this, you decrease and enhancement like that more and less and the decay of the reverb right like that and you have here some different um controls also to to shape the, the sounds of the reverb uh some noise rear outs and uh, dry wet or you can also solo the reverb that it's pretty cool you can listen only to the reverb without the original signal with this solo. Uh, if you click here open, you have some interesting uh, things here like pitch, shift, input, uh, gain, output level, hold, and power, right? And yeah, so let's listen to some audio examples here on these drums first. Right, small hole. Let's change here. Vocal plate. Right and long hole. And let's check out some other presets here, for instance, Dark Room. Right? 
let's choose here another plate okay let's also test this reverb plugin on some piano Fusion. Before. Right. And also let's test finally this delay in some guitars. Here at Plugin Boutique and till October the 3rd you can grab some Universal Audio um, plugins at a huge discount, 86% off, uh, like 10 plugins I believe, 39 bucks. As usual I will leave you all of the applicable links in the video description and first comment.